Hi everyone, this video is sponsored by Privacy.com. More information at the end of the video here, the internet's busiest music nerd. It's time for our Great album series. It's the end of May, so I'm going to go over the releases that stuck out to me as being the most entertaining, the most significant over the course of the month, and I will link down there below links where you can listen to music from these records, where you can see reviews of these records. Let's go. Let's kick it off with the new Feist record, Pleasure. Definitely Leslie Feist's most raw, low-down, and dirty, and uh, rock and roll album so far. Love the sound of this record. The production had an incredible incredible amount of texture to it, the performances felt very live and in the moment, and this is definitely one of Leslie's best crops of songs yet, yeah, as far as like a full-length record goes. Uh, not really a whole lot I don't like about the album. If you're looking for a strong singer-songwriter record this year with a lot of, a lot of gusto, then definitely give this thing a shot. Gotta give a shout out to the new Colin Stetson album. All this I do for glory. Colin Stetson comes back with his avant-garde, his minimal, his hypnotic uh, solo saxophone pieces, finding some new and inventive ways to add some more sounds and stuff into the mix too. Uh, he definitely pushes the envelope a bit more with this record, although in the grander scheme of things, it's it's nothing altogether new, but it is nice to sort of hear him to be able to uh, uh, stick to his guns, stick to what he does so well on the saxophone without changing up things too much, but still come through with like an entertaining album. Uh, I would actually say this album is more centered around him than any uh, of the big records in his New History Warfare series so far because this is just purely him. No guess from what I understand on this record and it just sounds incredible. Gotta give a shout out too to the new uh, Mac DeMarco album, This Old Dog. Mac DeMarco, while this is uh, definitely his sleepiest album as, as far as the sound of the record so far. I do like the incorporation of more drum machines, more synthesizers, and the incredibly dark and personal lyrics on this record. Uh, definitely make this a, a very sad, uh, very personal, but very engaging album too. Somehow I ended up enjoying the new Paramore album, After Laughter quite a bit. Uh, definitely the, the band's slickest and danciest record so far, uh, embracing the sounds of synth pop and new wave on this thing with just like a dab of post-punk every once in a while, just to give a few tracks a little bit more of an edge. Uh, you know, if you enjoy the throwbacks, the recent pop throwbacks of artists like Carly Rae Jepsen, for example, on her Emotion record, uh, or, you know, if you enjoy very poppy, danceable post-punk music, you're going to dig on this. Uh, but then I also want to give a shout out to the new Perfume Genius album, No Shape. Oh man, incredible record. Uh, definitely one of Mike's most powerful albums so far as, as far as a presentation, instrumental presentation goes. Incredible variety on this album. So many instrumental risks. I feel like not every one of those risks pans out, but I still think it's a very, uh, very amazing album for Mike. Uh, I would love to hear him sort of refine down some of the ideas he had on this record and uh, maybe bring back some of the uh, vulnerable and very powerfully emotional songwriting uh, that some of his past records did so well uh, while still sort of expanding, you know, kind of on this world of sound that he introduced us to on this album. And finally, I have to shine a light uh, again on the new Forest Swords album, Compassion. Uh, this thing is loaded with some really interesting electronic music, mixing elements of like uh, tribal rhythms and chanting uh, with some really cerebral and hypnotic and very primal um, drum sequences and uh, some really interesting sample work on this thing as far as the vocal samples, uh, some cool synthesizer patches as well. A lot of great colors, a lot of great textures. I would say Forest Swords comes through with a strong direction and style on this record. Uh, it's electronic music that somehow sounds like it's, uh, like it's coming from thousands of years in the past. Uh, from some long lost civilization or something. It's actually kind of crazy, uh, the vibe uh, that, uh, uh, that's, that's pulled together on this album. Um, you know, I, I, in the end, I did wish there was a little bit more variety to the record, but it's definitely going to stick out as one of my favorite electronic albums this year. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Those are the records that I wanted to shout out for you guys in this segment. So again, all of that is down there in the description. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys got a solid recommendation out of this. Yada, yada, yada. Transition. And once again, I have to give a shout out to our sponsor for this video, the good people over at privacy.com. Now I know I'm making a lot of online purchases. You guys are making a lot of online purchases. There is, as you're aware, a level of risk involved with that uh, in terms of 
uh, your information leaking, a lack of anonymity. Now, not only does this service provide you anonymity with the purchases you're making online once you have sort of punched in uh, uh, the payment methods that you typically use when you're buying things online, but there's also an added layer of security there too. Putting your mind at ease when you're making those online purchases and making it less likely that you're gonna fall prey to some kind of information leak or fraud. Now, if you wanna find out more information about this service, hit up privacy.com slash needle drop. That's privacy.com slash needle drop. And if you act now and you sign up for the service, privacy.com is actually going to be rebating the purchases of 10 randomly chosen users who sign up for the service through that link. So go there now, that's privacy.com slash needle drop. Drop. Uh, there's some videos next to my head that I think you should check out, as well as the subscription link and the official website link too. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching forever.